Hey guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, today is the next version of, or the next episode of Throwback Thursday. And again, we're using uh, items from these containers. This is the baking soda, this is the Epsom salt, and this is the citric acid. And today, we're going to be adding some tea tree oil to the mix. Now what I'm going to be making are what's known as toilet fizzies. So you can drop these in the toilet after um, you know something smelly had happened. This will count, This will basically deodorize your toilet. So I'm using one cup of baking soda, one half cup, what did I put a half cup in? Let's see, what, what is this? This is a half a cup. So let me use one cup, one full cup of baking soda. I'm not paying attention. Okay, that's one cup of baking soda. Just one half cup of Epsom salt. Let's see if I got anything here for the citric acid. Nope. So let me take this and it's a half a cup of citric acid. Okay. So let me move these out of the way. And let's see. Let me move this stuff up here. You're going to need to a container to put them in. This is what I normally put my toilet fizzies in. You're going to need a spray bottle. This just has water in it. And this is a one tablespoon size um, table. This is a one tablespoon. Yeah. So first we're going to do, you see this stuff is all this and we're going to just mix this all together. And getting out the lumps too. Filling for the lumps. And it's the same principle as making bath bombs. Actually, it's just a bath bomb for your toilet if you think about it. And then we're going to put in 20 drops of tea tree oil. You know what? Let's make it 30. 30 drops. I hope I got enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. There we go. I got put, I just put 30 drops of um, tea tree oil in. I got this from Walmart. So I'm just going to get this mixed in here. And you know tea tree oil is an excellent disinfectant. It does wonders for your skin too. It, well, it can. When I usually have a breakout, I will use the tea tree oil. Just put a little bit on that spot. And usually it's gone within a day or so. And I'm not saying it's going to work for you. Because everything don't work for everybody. But, you know, it's worth a try. I think. Okay. There we go. Got this all mixed in. So now we're going to use... This little spritzer bottle. So hopefully I can control the water more this time. One, two, three. I just put three in there. Let's see how this is going to work. Because you don't want a lot of water in this. Just enough to so it can hold together. And this tends to make its own uh, liquids as well. You don't see it. But it'll be kind of dry one minute, and then the next minute you, it'll be like super wet. And you'll be like, what happened? I didn't think I put that much water in there. And you actually didn't, but it makes its own water sometimes. Okay. See, it's still a bit dry. Let me keep working it for a minute or so here, just to make sure if it's going to do anything else on its own.
maybe a little bit too dry. Let me add just one spritz of water. And what we're going to do is use this tablespoon to mold our toilet fizzies. I'm scraping down like that because there's a little divot in the bottom of the bowl and I want to get everything. Still too dry. And this is really where you want to take your time and add a little bit at a time. You don't want to overdo this. You can always save it just in case you do put too much water in it by rebatching. Let's just start over with um, the same amount of ingredients that you started with at first. And then just add what's, what's overly uh, wet to the dry ingredients and you should be fine. Too dry. I'm gonna put in another spritzer. I'm gonna spritz it one more time. It's always best to take your time with this. Because I'd rather have it too dry and then we put a little bit in at a time than to put too much water in and have to rebatch it. See, it's getting there. It's getting there. See? And when I drop it, it actually holds this form. See? It's getting there. Maybe one more spritz. And that may, that may get it. One more. Oops. I hope I got it in there because it seemed like it went to the other direction. See, like I said, it, 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 you have to do it a little bit at a time. And see how it's holding together? It's getting better and better. Okay, let's let's try a few. Okay, I'm going to use this, um, this tablespoon right here. Actually, you're supposed to have a teaspoon. But I'm using this tablespoon because I can't find my teaspoon. But this will work. And you fill it with the with the um, with this stuff right here with your powders, and you turn it over and tap, and there it comes out just like that. We're gonna do do more of these. Of course, if you had a teaspoon, you're gonna you would get more product, and that's all you really need is a teaspoon. But because I couldn't find a teaspoon, it's the reason why I'm using the tablespoon. So you can at least see them. 
they're not hard yet but they need to dry so I'm gonna do a few more and then when I come back I'll let you see them all Okay, I have done a total of nine. And when I come back, I'll be finished. Okay guys, they are complete. I have created, I have made 24 toilet fizzies. And once they dry, I'm gonna put them into this jar and sit this jar on the back of my toilet. Um, if you, think about doing these just make sure you put like toilet fizzies on the jar this jar just happened to come with a, a chalk tag on it already I think I got this from Dollar Tree but just put toilet fizzies on here because people may think that they're candy or something but here let me see if I can get a decent looking one up close here we go that is the toilet fizzy this is the one tablespoon size but my suggestion is to is that you make these into one teaspoon size okay but tablespoon is just fine okay guys that's it I would like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video if you haven't I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your comments I truly appreciate it come back anytime and I see you all in my next video bye bye love bugs